So this tutorial was requested on my modding blog and is specifically for how to convert Sims 4 error mods to Dragon Age Origins. I by no means am claiming to be some expert on this. In fact, I'm still kind of figuring out everything myself, uh, but I do hope that this is of help to anyone out there looking to give her a go, and I wish you the best of luck in your own modding endeavors. Please make sure you read the description for the links to the tools and resources used. The first thing you want to do is place your error mod in the Sims 4 Studio Mods folder. Open the studio and choose the option to create a 3D mesh and press the CAS button. Change the filter to just custom content and you'll see all the hair mods that you have in that folder. You'll see multiple files of the same name and these are all of different colors. I usually select them all by using shift click. Click next to create a temporary package and name it whatever you like because you can delete it immediately after closing the studio. The studio will take you to where you can extract the package textures and mesh. The only texture you need to extract is the diffuse, which is selected by default, and once you've extracted both the diffuse and mesh, you can close the program. Open the diffuse texture using GIMP, and when prompted, uncheck Load Mipmaps. Sims hair textures are way larger than they need to be for Dragon Age, so we're going to crop the file to just what we need, which is the top left corner. Switch to Channels and duplicate the alpha channel. Use Ctrl X to cut the duplicated channel and Ctrl V to paste it into a new layer. Cut the original layer open as a new image. Create a second layer below it and color it all black. Then desaturate the air texture to black and white and adjust the contrast to your liking. Good contrast while up the air colors pop. Increase the brightness of the layer below it to the darkest of the texture and merge the layers. Duplicate the layer and decrease the brightness by about 50. Cut the darker layer, which will be our specular map, into the new image, and this is where we'll build the final texture. Copy the alpha channel into the second layer. Copy the original into the third layer as the diffuse. Then finally we need to create the normal map. Using the normal map plugin, change the scale to anywhere between 5 to 10. Then go into Colors, Components, and Decompose with the default settings. Cut the top layer of the decomposed image into the building texture as the fourth layer. It is very important to follow the order of the Specular, Alpha, Diffuse, and Normal. Change the image mode to grayscale, then go into Colors, Components, and Compose using the color model RGBA. Save this composed texture as pn underscore har underscore error name dot dds and next it out of the program. Open the extracted Blender file using Blender 2.70. On the right side, you'll see several meshes listed. Unclick all the eyes and go through each one to find the full mesh. Select a full mesh, make sure your cursor is in the viewing window, and use Ctrl C to copy it. Open a new file and empty it by pressing A twice and then delete. Paste the copied mesh into a new empty file. Select a mesh and then export it as an OBJ file. Open the Dragon Age Tools Blender file using Blender 2.49b, which you should set as the default for this file. Right-click on the top script window and execute the script. Using the mesh tool, extract it of your choice. You'll need to extract a corresponding bald head as well, and if their mesh is long, you'll also want a body for reference. Finally, import the OBJ file with the default settings. Save the file inside the same folder as all the Dragon Blender files. This is super important. Switch to edit mode. Press R on your keyboard to rotate, then Z to pin it to the axis. Enter 180 to rotate it 180 degrees. Use G and your mouse to move, S and your mouse to resize. All your actions can be pinned to the X, Y, and Z axis with your keyboard as well. Adjust the air mesh so it sits on the head. I'm not going to go into super details about this part because I'd instead encourage you to look up better tutorials on Blender to familiarize yourself with it. You'll probably know more than I do.
Most alpha sim errors have duplicate pieces. You need to delete all the duplicates by adding each piece and deleting his copy. Use h to hide and all h to hide. Once you've deleted the duplicates, go into object mode and delete all the materials. Switch back to edit mode, select all the faces, and click mesh, faces, set smooth. Add a new material to the mesh. Add a new texture and change the map input to UV. Choose the DDS file you created. Set one of the side panels to the UV editor. With the old mesh still selected, choose the uploaded DDS image. Resize the mapping using S, then 2, and enter to double, then S, Y, and 2 to double again vertically. Use G and your X, Y axis controls to reposition the mapping. To see the texture on the mesh, change the view settings. Note that the transparent part are the red and the solid parts are blue. Delete all the objects except air. Now it's time to sort of faces. You only have to do this if your air is a transparent part like this one. Starting from the bottom center and working your way up and out, select one or two pieces at a time, but don't select any two pieces that touch each other. Press Tab, then use Ctrl F and choose to sort the faces by selection. Tab again to return to edit mode and press H to add that piece. Select another piece, press Alt H to unhide your hidden ones, and press Tab, then sort faces again. Repeat this with all the pieces. If you don't do this, then you'll have conflicts with your transparency. Use the import msh script to import one of the vanilla hairs that matches the basic structure, like, for example, a ponytail for a ponytail. Remember to choose the right race and sex combo for what you're making, and to deselect the scalp that comes with the hair before importing. You'll recognize the scalp by having far fewer vertices and faces. Use A to select both objects, and then with the bottom right window in the script mode, click Scripts, Objects, Bone Weight Copy. Set the quality to 4 and let the script run, and this may take a while. Make a copy of the vanilla MSH and MMH files that you duplicated the bone weights from in a folder of your choice. Then use the Import MSH script to browse for that file. Instead of importing it though, we're going to select the vanilla air mesh with the new air mesh selected and replace it. Again, this may take a while so you can see the progress bar up top. When it's done, remember to save the modified file before closing. Launch the GFF4 editor and open the modified MSH file. Change the mesh name to the new air mod name and save it. Open the MMH file and do the same for both strings. Expand the last string down to the PN underscore HAR underscore all texture and change the name of the texture to the file you created. Then save this file too. Close the editor and rename the files to their new names. Use DMAO template to rename it to the same as your DDS texture. Then replace the names inside the files using a notepad. Place all these files into your override folder and there you have it! Remember that to get air mods in the game's character creation menu, you have to modify your override's charge and more CFG file. I include instructions on how to do this with every air mod I've made if you're unfamiliar with CC mods. I hope you found this tutorial helpful despite my shitty phone recording for sound. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me on Tumblr and I'll do my best to help.